So I just got home from work. I wasn't even planning on filming tonight and I just figured I would sit down and do it. I was gonna do it tomorrow, but I have other videos in mind for tomorrow, so let's do an empties, an after work empties. Oh my gosh, okay, obviously I have not sorted through this. This is actually fewer empties than I normally have, so hopefully it will be quicker than my normal empties videos, which tend to be super long. Hi, I'm Drea, if you've never been here before. <laughs> I'm always a little punch drunk after I get home from work, I feel like, so these late night filming sessions are a little bit more crazy than normal. All right, let's just jump into it, um, as they say. L'Oreal, what is this? Volume Collagen Shampoo. This is my favorite shampoo. Um, I just find that it does not weigh down my hair. It gives me a lot of volume like it says it does. I really, really like it. We are gonna change the angle because that keeps wanting to focus back there. Okay, uh, soft soap, coconut, and warm ginger hand soap. This actually smelled really great, so that was nice. This is a hand soap from my sister from Christmas, no, for my birthday? My birthday. Uh, Sweet Love Candy Cane Swirl. Really liked that, I love candy cane scents. Okay, here's the L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. This is what I use to shave my legs. It is expensive to shave your legs with and I will eventually repurchase it, but not right away because right now I gotta save my money for other things. But I really like this. You don't have to like moisturize your legs after you shave them when you use this because it does all the work for you. It's really, really nice stuff. What else do we have here? Oh, finally got through this. This took me so long. I got this for my birthday two years ago. This is the Calgon Jap, Calgon? I feel like I said that really weird, Calgon. <laughs> anyway, it's the Japanese Cherry Blossom Fragrance Body Mist. Um, I didn't use it as a body mist though, I use it as a room spray. There's something about this scent that makes me feel like I'm at my grandmother's house, it makes me think of her, and I'm gonna miss it because it really does remind me of my childhood at my grandmother's house. I don't know why, it's really nice, but I don't tend to use body sprays on my body, I tend to use them up as room sprays, which is a really good idea if you want to use something up and you have too many fragrances. I talked about this in a regret some kind of video. This is the uh, Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Butter Cream. This stuff sucks. I love the scent of it though. It's the most amazing lime, sweet lime scent. Oh, but you can get the scent in the body scrub, which is incredible body scrub. It's great and smells great. But this lotion was just like, it did almost nothing. It was such a big wah wah. Uh, okay, uh, Dove Original Deodorant. I've been using this since I was 15. Not this particular one. You get what I mean. Quo Brush Cleansing Shampoo with Argan Oil. I did not like this stuff. The old Quo Brush Shampoo that they discontinued was way better and I'm disappointed because I would have kept repurchasing that one, but this one I just don't like. I feel like it, it takes more to get the job done and it doesn't bubble up as easily. I don't know, I just didn't like it as much. I don't wanna buy that again. I'm making a lot of noise. Some little guys here, a bunch of little things. Uh, Twilly, oh, Hermes Twilly perfume sample. Didn't like this. I'm glad I didn't like it because uh, Hermes is not, you know, not cheap stuff. Yeah, I don't really remember this. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No, good, because I have some on my finger. I don't know how it got there. Okay, um, Tom Ford Oudwood, O-U-D. Ah, it, it, this smelled like nothing. Eh, whatever. Oh, Lancome La Vie Belle, love this stuff. I had a roller bowl of this I lost in my mother's car. She never gave it back to me. This is Bumble and Bumble Save the Day Daytime Protective Repair Fluid with one of my hairs stuck to it, uh, with camellia oil. So it's just like a, a liquid that you put on your hair after you shower, but before you blow dry, it's supposed to protect it. I didn't notice any difference from the stuff I normally wear, so I wouldn't wear that wear that again. I wouldn't use that or buy it again. Uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. I don't know if it's just because I'm not a primer person when it comes to mascara, but I didn't use this. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't, I don't know. I always find that they make my lashes so much clumpier, these primers. So I didn't even really use it all that much before it kind of went bad. Um, okay, this is the Benefit Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. This is one of the deluxe sample sizes. I've Gone, this is the second one I've gone through. I already purchased the full size because I love it. So this is like just a cream contour. You guys have seen me use this so many times like in videos and stuff. It blends out so nicely. Like look, 
blends out so good. It makes your contour look so natural. I'm not wearing it today. I'm just wearing possibly too much blush today. <laughs> um, but anyways, I really love that stuff. Here is a Thierry Mugler Angel Perfume. Beautiful bottle. I got kind of sick of this scent though, honestly. I started using it as a room spray actually too. Sometimes I'll do that with perfumes too. Um, because I just kind of got sick of it. I don't know. It's not my favorite anymore, so I wouldn't buy it again. The Secret Invisible Spray Cool Water Lily. I don't like this. I don't like deodorant in this form, in this format. It's not my favorite. I always found that the deodorant, like when, when it's in a spray bottle, it kind of goes everywhere and then you're like inhaling it. Like it really does. You're spraying it out in your underarms, right? And then it goes, it poofs and whooshes up and then you're inhaling it. That's not good. That's not good. Um, coconut water cream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that okay first aid beauty coconut water cream this is the stuff this is the deluxe sample size that made me fall in love with this enough to buy a full size immediately upon first application and I love this stuff just talked about it in a video recently that is such a good moisturizer it just feels like you're just hydrating your skin so well um beauty blender blender cleanser solid pro this is the the black color um not the white one I don't notice a difference. I've tried them both, but I will say these Beauty Blender Cleanser Solids are the best cleansers I have ever tried for brushes, sponges, anything. They get everything out. I don't know how they do it, what they do, but it's just like a little hockey puck that is so, it gets everything so clean so easily. This is the Sephora Pomegranate Face Mask. I just used this last night. Um, my sister gave this to me for Christmas. It was lovely. These are just really nice hydrating masks. I don't know that they're worth the full price tag from Sephora as opposed to like just one of the $1 masks you can get from like Korean um, brands in general but I did like it a lot. The Nooks uh, Pro De Multi-Purpose Dry Oil for Face, Body and Hair. One of my favorite products ever and I can never remember the name of it. Anyway, this stuff is my, like, my scent muse. I don't know, I just, I love this scent so much and the oil feels so good on the body. It's just one of my most comforting scents. I love this oil. It's just my, one of my most favorite products ever made. Um, the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Treatment. I feel like I went through this so quickly. I don't know. I've never gone through an eye cream as quickly as this one. I don't know why, why that is. Um, it's really nice. It's supposed to brighten. I will say, I would, I think it maybe does give the illusion of brightening. It doesn't like permanently brighten under your eyes. Feels good. It's a decent eye cream. I don't know that I'll buy it again though. Okay. This is the body shop. This is not Pina Colada, it's Pinita, P-I-N-I-T-A, Colada. Um, to all of my Spanish-speaking French, friends, French, friends, friends, Spanish, okay. Um, <laughs> can you please tell me, is there a difference between Pina Colada and Pinita Colada? I don't know. Anyways, this is a really nice kind of coconut Pina Colada scent. Body Shop shower gels are really good. I really like the way they bubble up. They all smell amazing. Big favorites. Okay, I got a bunch, I gotta, that's good English. I have a few uh, Briogeo things here. So don't despair repair deep conditioning mask. I two of those plus this size of that. This stuff smells really good. It's probably the best hair mask I've tried. Tried quite a few. I still don't feel like, I feel like my hair needs more than just a, a hair mask. I don't know, I need a whole overhaul on this hair, but it's decent. And then the Briogeo repair shampoo. I liked it. It did it didn't bubble up as much as I kind of needed it to, and I don't feel like I saw a difference at all, but again, I was only using one foil packet, so I don't know. It was fine. Okay, this is from the face shop. It's the Collagen Volume Mascara. Um I didn't love this. I didn't use it a whole lot of times. It's just got like a curved regular old brush there. It's kind of lengthening, but not a lot of volume, so I wouldn't buy that again. These are the kit quilted square cosmetic pads. I saved one to show you. So that's it there. You can see it's square. It's more loose on this side. This side is a little bit more like sewn together. I don't know. Anyway, it's nice and big, nice and soft. They don't really come apart when you use them. So that's good. My memory card just filled up there. I've been filming so many declutters. I have like no space on any memory cards. Also, I forgot I was going to show you guys these. I'm going to show you these at the beginning of the video and I totally forgot. I just got these for my work today 
Isn't this like being a walking Snapchat filter? Like, I'm in love with these. So I'll link to them below in the description bar if you want to get your hands on them. They're just from American Eagle. I friggin' love them. They're so cute. Okay, also I wanted to tell you, see I'm all over the place, but it's on my lips because I know somebody's going to ask me. It's the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Video Vixen. All right, I only have like four things left to talk about. This is like one of the fastest empties videos ever. Two candles, the Marshmallow Fireside. I'm pretty sure this is the last one from when I bought 10 of these because it's my absolute favorite candle scent of all time. So I actually didn't buy any last year. Did I get any glasses marks when I did that? Eh, not really. Um, I didn't buy any last year because I still had some of these. So now I'm out. I'm like fully out. This one is from Home Sense, I think. It's Everyday Luxe and it's just called Christmas. It's Nutmeg Spice and Cinnamon Spruce. And it really does have that Christmas tree, Christmassy scent. Um, I don't know how else to explain that. But like, if you grew up in the 80s and you saw these red candles, like just around Christmas time, I think you know what scent what scent that is. Like, it'll bring back memories. Um, this is the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover, my favorite eye makeup remover. It's so good, um, really gentle, takes everything off really easily. I have a pair of Ardell 250s. The reason I have to get rid of these is because, I don't know if you can tell, but I didn't really put them back on these guys, these little, I don't know, molds properly, and they really like, like, I don't know what they did, but they just really like squished together. And um, even after cleaning them, like I tried putting these on my eyes and I did for a video last week. I, it took me friggin' 15 minutes to get them on because they're so like, okay, I don't know what word that sound is, but there you go. Um, Tarte Brighter Days Moisturizer. This came like in a gift set. I would never buy this again. I would never have bought it to begin with. It was fine as a moisturizer. This is like drugstore level moisturizer. Um, but the thing about it is there really is like the most shimmer in it. It's like the silver shimmer. And if you're going to wear this on your face, you really will glow. Some people might like that. Some people might not. It's a bit much. I think it would be really nice on your chest, like for the summertime, because you'd have that like shimmery, you know, or like on your shoulders. But I think it's probably too expensive to waste for a body lotion, um, so I wouldn't buy it again. And then finally, last thing, this is actually from Avon. The thing fell off of it. This was one of their Christmas lip balms for 99 cents. This one was called Buttercream. You guys, let me just rant for a second about this garbage right here. This is from Fresh. It's the Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. Um, I used this like six months ago. It wrecked my lips. I put it away and I found it about two weeks ago and I was like, oh, why didn't I use that? Let me put that on. And I've been using it and I realized that this stuff wrecks your lips. It does not hydrate. It does the opposite. It makes your lips dry out so badly that they peel and flake. This is going in the garbage right now. It's not an empty. It wasn't even in this bag but I wanted to rant about it because this 99 cent friggin Avon lip balm this is the second one I've gone through I have like three more that I also use but second full one I've used up when I put this on at nighttime and I wake up in the morning the next morning my lips are still like hydrated and plump and so good like friggin 99 cents so you go Avon okay that's it for my empties today I hope you had a good day I did I went on a little shopping spree after work, mainly for my kid, but I, I get a good discount, so it was fun. Um, also, tomorrow's my first day off in five days, so anyways, thank you so much for watching all my videos lately. I know they've been kind of sporadic and crazy and whatever, but, um, oh, hi, bra strap. Um, but yeah, I know you guys have been like hanging in there with all these changes in my life and to my channel, so I've been trying my best, and uh, I'm going to film some videos tomorrow. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you. I will see you at my next one. Bye.